To test buffer bloat, use Waveform's buffer bloat testing tool, which is recommended by bufferbloat.net. This tool will measure your network latency while downloading and uploading files. At the end, the tool spits out a grade and it tells you what your network is good for under ideal conditions and what it's like under current buffer bloat. But first, if you're new to the channel, we cover internet related topics from tip videos like this to more in-depth router review videos. Subscribe to Broadband now to be the first to see more videos just like this. For the best results, ensure your network is not currently under load because it could negatively skew the final grade. Also use a wired connection. When I tested it on my network over Wi-Fi 5 from one room away, I ended up with a D, which is pretty bad. And when I got closer to the router with my phone and ran the test over a Wi-Fi 6 connection, I got a C, which is also not that good. When I finally ran the test on a laptop over a wired connection, I finally got an A. The score, while great, meant my network wasn't good enough for low latency gaming while under load. For that, you need a near perfect A plus score, which means less than 5 milliseconds of latency are introduced to the network while under load. A buffer bloat score of A to C means your network is good for pretty much everything, including gaming. If you want to get an A plus to ensure you're cleared for low latency gaming while under load, you'll need to fix buffer bloat. Don't forget to like this video and let us know what other topics you'd like to see from us. Have questions? Drop us a comment. Finally, subscribe to Broadband now to stay up to date on all things internet.